Now, as I mentioned to you last night, the NAPLAN results are, in my view, a national disgrace, something that I believe should be, uh, you know, a, a fire alarm heard around the country. Why? Because, of course, our children are our future, all of that business. One third of all kids who did the NAPLAN test just uh, this year, and we're talking about kids in Year 3, Year 5, Year 7 and Year 9, do not meet the basic standards when it comes to literacy and numeracy. This is really frightening. Because you remember, this isn't the school system you went to, this is the new school system where nobody can fail and everyone gets a cuddle. But even then, a third of kids aren't up to it. This is despite us spending the best part of 44B4 billion dollars a year when it comes to uh, education and an overall of $662 billion. Well, Kevin Donnelly is the education expert that we spoke to last night on the program and he says that there's one thing we can do to change our classrooms that doesn't cost a dollar. Reintroduce discipline. We have one of the most uh, disruptive, noisy classrooms among the OECD countries. And so the first thing is to get classrooms that are disciplined, where the teachers are authority figures rather than facilitators and guides by the side, all this new age jargon they use now. Well, good indication from New South Wales. I mate, the Education Minister and Deputy Premier, Prue Carr, has shown that someone somewhere is starting to listen to what we say on this show and what you believe at home, wherever you are around the country, including you in the beautiful Gold Coast. Please, darling, can we move here? sometime soon. Now, the reality is, is that they want to improve the discipline where uh, principals will be able to suspend students for longer and reintroduce discipline in the classroom. That'll be a good thing.